Coins are much more than just currency. They are a symbol of a nation's identity and history. And in the United States, the institution responsible for crafting these symbols is the U.S. Mint. From its humble beginnings in the 18th century to its role today, the U.S. Mint has been at the heart of America's financial system, producing the coins that millions of people use every day. But how did it all begin? Our story starts in 1792, just after the American Revolution. The new nation needed a stable and standardized currency system. In response, Congress passed the Coinage Act of 1792 establishing the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia, which was then the nation's capital. This act not only established the U.S. Mint, but also introduced the dollar as the official currency of the United States, laying the groundwork for the nation's financial system. The Philadelphia Mint, the first facility of its kind in the United States, began operations in 1793. The first coins struck were copper cents, known as the flowing hair cent and liberty cap half cent, were symbols of the country's new identity. The designs featured Lady Liberty, a symbol of freedom and democracy, and the coins quickly became a part of everyday life for Americans. As the United States expanded westward and its economy grew, so did the demand for coinage. To meet this need, the U.S. government established several branch mints in strategic locations across the country. In 1839, three branch mints were authorized by Congress. New Orleans, Louisiana, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Dahlonega, Georgia. These mints were established primarily to process gold discovered in the southern states. The Charlotte and Dahlonega mints focused exclusively on producing gold coins such as the Half Eagle, a $5 coin, Quarter Eagle, a $2.5 coin, and the $1 gold piece. The coins produced at Charlotte and Dahlonega are highly sought after by collectors today, not only for their gold content, but also for their historical significance. Each coin bears a mint mark, C for Charlotte and D for Dahlonega, indicating where it was struck. Unfortunately, both mints ceased operations during the Civil War and would never reopen. The New Orleans mint, however, had a longer lifespan. It struck both gold and silver coins and was particularly important during the antebellum period. The New Orleans Mint was the only Southern Mint to reopen after the Civil War, continuing operations until 1909. Coins minted here bear the O Mint mark, and they remain popular amongst collectors. Come all you Californians. Further west, the discovery of gold in California in 1848 led to the establishment of the San Francisco Mint in 1854. Known as the Granite Lady, strange name, this mint played a critical role during the California Gold Rush, processing the vast quantities of gold flowing into the state. The San Francisco Mint became one of the most important mints in the country, known for producing gold coins that were essential for the U.S. economy. Even after surviving the devastating 1906 earthquake, the San Francisco Mint continued to operate and remains active today, known for its production of proof coinage and commemorative coins. As the nation continued to expand, the need for coinage in the Western territories grew. In 1906, the Denver Mint was established. Originally an assay office for gold from the Colorado Gold Rush, it became a full-fledged mint and is now one of the most productive facilities in the United States mint system. The Denver Mint produces circulating coins, mint sets, and commemorative coins, all marked with the D mint mark. One of the newer facilities in the U.S. mint system is the West Point Mint located in New York. It began humbly as a bullion depository in 1937, but became a full mint in 1988. West Point is unique in that it primarily produces bullion coins, such as the American Eagle series in gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. These coins are known worldwide as a key part of the U.S. Mint's operations. Today, the U.S. Mint operates several facilities, each with its own unique role. Philadelphia and Denver produce a majority of circulating coins, San Francisco specializes in proof and commemorative coins, and West Point handles bullion coins and gold medals. Today, these mints produce billions of coins each year, ensuring the nation's economy runs smoothly. The U.S. Mint is not just a producer of coins. It's a custodian of American heritage. Each coin tells a story from the earliest days of the Republic to the present. As we continue to use these coins in our everyday life, we're connected to a rich history that has shaped the United States into the nation it is today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram for daily content. And until next time, I'm Isaac with Premier Rare Coins. See you in the next video.